This is the floating compass lab. Um, you should have the handout while you're doing this. The first part is called the jumping wire. I don't know if you can see here, I've got a really thin wire. Um, the reason why it's reddish is because it's coated in plastic. So, and that's so the, you know, no current will escape. But you want the be current to be able to go in through the ends, so I need to scrape it a little bit. And you just kind of open some scissors and scrape it kind of like if you were curling um, ribbon for a Christmas present. So I'm going to sit here and scrape it. And when you can see the color of copper, you know, like a penny, and you've got it scraped pretty good. So I'm going to do that to both ends. And then I'm going to hook this up to my power supply here. Kind of, here's, there's the power supply. So I'm going to move it off the camera. Um, I'm going to hook up to a power supply. I've got these cords connected to the power supply. Which this one's not clipping very well. And this one here. Turn it on. There's like, you know, very little resistance here. And you know what? I'm seeing that it might be hard to see, huh? So I'm going to put this white paper underneath it so you can see it better. And turn it on. And you should see the wire jump. And I'm not seeing the wire jump. There it goes. See that? Let me lower the camera so you can see it better. Okay, so that's part one. Um, you basically need to explain why that happened. Okay, part two. And we have a nail. Raise the camera up a little bit. We have a nail, and I'm basically going to make an electromagnet. I'm going to, uh, I'm basically making, excuse me, a solenoid. I'm going to wrap this wire around it and then see if I can pick up a needle with it. So I've got this wire here. Got a lot of wire here, and I'm just going to start wrapping around the nail. And it's kind of a mess. Great. This is great. Okay. There we go. Okay. Just going to keep wrapping. And I've got a rather long piece of wire here. I'm not going to wrap the whole thing. But um, when you have a loop of wire, there's a magnetic field in the middle. And this um, nail has domains. And um, we'll see what happens. So it takes me a while to wrap this up. Okay, and let's keep wrapping it. It works better the more loops you have. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm going to stop and just connect there and connect the other side, turn it on, and it takes a, a bit of time. So I'm right now taking a needle out, and we're going to see if we can get, scroll the camera down lower, we're going to see if we can um, pick it up. I'm not in any hurry because it does take, you know, you want to give it a little time for the domains to flip and crank up that voltage. Let's see if I can pick up this needle, and I'm not. There we go. See that? Um, maybe you can't see. I'll put the white paper underneath it. I just picked up a needle. So I've just turned my nail into a little magnet. Um, that is part two. I'm going to unwrap my nail. Um, I need this wire, so I'm going to sit here and unwrap the nail. Now the last part is called the floating compass. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a needle and I'm going to put it like this 
and I'm going to rub it back and forth. And that magnetizes the needle. And then I have a little bowl of water. Crank this up a little bit. And a little piece of styrofoam. I'm going to put it in here. And it's going to turn and then going to stop. You can see, if you can see this. Kind of pointing this way and that happens to be north. So the this end is north and now what I'm going to do, hopefully I can do this without spilling water everywhere, I'm going to wrap a wire around my bowl. So I actually should have wrapped it before I filled it but I didn't. So we're going to hope that I don't spill everywhere. And wrap some wire around the bowl. There's going to be a magnetic field from the wire. Okay. And flip this. Get the other end here. Okay, and then I'm going to crank it up so you can see a little better. away a little bit. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do with my wires, I'm going to get the needle so that the needle is parallel to the wires. And when I turn on the voltage, the needle, if I put it out here in the middle, the needle ends up going, oh, the needle ends up going perpendicular. It's kind of not, I'm wondering if these magnets are in the way. Okay, so turn it off. It goes parallel and then it flips. Okay, let me do that again. Parallel, when it's off, it's off right now. I turn it on and it flips. Okay, now um, the end with the head where you put the thread through is over here. And the last thing I'm supposed to do is swap. So I'm going to swap my plus and minus. And you'll notice that the needle flips the other way. The head, the side with that you put the thread through is now here when it used to be over here. That's because I swapped the wires. So let's see, this here is from the plus end of the battery. So I'm going from the plus end of the battery and the, using my second right hand rule, this is the way the current is going because um, I followed the, the wire that's at the plus end of the battery. So it's going like this. My magnetic field would be like this underneath the wire. See my fingers there? So um, that about does it. What you need to do is um, answer all the questions. And that's the end of it.